Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, so web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. In this tip, we'll look at the need for having a standard framework in your organization for building RESTful web services. We think it is a very important thing. Typical frameworks which are used to build RESTful web services in Java world are Spring MVC or Spring REST and JAX RS. Both of them are really good frameworks. They have really good features and I have nothing against both of them. They are really great. What I'm talking about here is building a framework above your framework of RESTful web services choice. So let's say your preferred framework for developing RESTful web services is Spring MVC. I'm talking about building something on top of Spring MVC to provide you some framework to adhere to your organizational standards. In the last tip, we talked about defining your organizational standards. We said you should have common standards regarding what is your request response structure, how you want to handle errors, what is the kind of response you'd want to send back in those scenarios, how you'd want to handle versioning, how do you want to do things like filtering and things like that? Do you want to support mock responses from your services? And how do you want to support Hattios? So we wanted to standardize all this kind of stuff. And we think it's really good to have a common organizational framework which defines the models for your common requests and responses, for your common error handling, for your common versioning. And how do you want to filter? How do you want to support mocks? We really see a need for having a common framework where you'd implement all these stuff. And this would be about your preferred REST web services framework. What this would help enforce is having a common way of approaching things across the organization. While having a common framework is good, it's not very good to have centralized decision making for these kind of frameworks. One of the most important things is having a standard framework and also having a kind of a decentralized approach to governing this framework. We'll look at that in the next tip. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, here's bye from the team here at In 28 Minutes.